Hello everyone. Today we are starting with our numerical questions of chapter number three, part admission of a partner. Okay, let's look at the questions from our NCERT book. The first question is: A and B were partners in a firm sharing profits and losses in a ratio of three to two. They admit C into the partnership with one sixth share in the profits. Calculate the new PSRC. Answer is already given, but we need to know how it is to be done. So. This is numerical questions. Question number one. Okay, so the ratio was three to two among A and B. So generally, what we do, we always should write the partner's name like this. So old ratio is three is to two. After that. It can also be written as three upon five and two upon five. How three plus two five? Yes. So C is admitted for one upon six share. Okay. So how much share? One upon six share. New profit of the firm. So now unitary method. Let the new profit be rupees one. So if we assume the entire profit to be one, how much is a C share will be one upon six? Yes. So how much is remaining for A and B? See, out of one, one sixth will be taken by C. So, how much is remaining? Six into one six minus one five upon six. Okay, this is remaining for A and B. And how A and B will be taking this five one six? This five one six will be divided by A and B in their old ratio. So, five one six. Just A and B new ratio we need to find. We already know of C equals to remaining ratio old multiply by old ratio. So remaining ratio we just calculated was five one six. So for A equals to Five point six is the remaining ratio. Out of that, he will get three upon five. Okay, and for B, it is five upon six multiplied by two upon five. So the ratio we get is three upon six and two upon six. So new profit sharing ratio. We already know C is admitted for one upon six. A will be for three upon six and B will be for two upon six. So new PSR will be. So therefore, new profit sharing ratio equals to A is to B is to C. Three upon six is to two upon six is to one upon six or three is to two is to one. Okay, this is how. This is the entire way how we calculate the new profit sharing ratio of the old and new partners. Okay, let's see question number two here. A, B, C were partners in a firm sharing profits in the ratio of three to two to one. They admitted D for ten percent of the profit. Now ten percent we can we have to. Convert this percentage into fraction. So 10% is 10 upon 100. That means 1 upon 10. If we subtract or if we divide, calculate the new profit sharing 
Peraí, show. Ok. So, always what we used to do? We used to write the or partners A is to B. Ok. And there are three partners. Ok. A is to B is to C. Old ratio is 3 is to 2 is to 1? Yes. So, these are 3 upon 6 is to 2 upon 6 is to 1 upon 6. D is admitted for 10 percent or 10 upon 100 share. in the new firm so let the profit be one so remaining share same exactly same a b and c remaining share equals to 1 minus 10 upon 100 that is 90 upon 100 we can just write down 9 upon 10 also ok it is totally up to us. Next thing now we uh, know the formula for A, B and C. for A, B and C multiply by old ratio. So, let us check for A. Remaining share is 9 upon 10 okay, minus uh, multiply by old ratio that is 3 upon 6. Okay. Twenty seven upon sixty B nine upon ten multiply by two upon six eighteen by sixty C nine upon ten multiply by one upon six equals to nine upon sixty and the D was admitted for uh, ten percent so 10 upon 100 that is 1 upon 10 yeah yes that is 1 upon 10 now uh, denominator 6 6 so 6 upon 60 okay so what is the 27 18 9 and 6 everyone can come in 3 stable yeah so, therefore, new PSR equals to 27 upon 60 upon A is to B is to C is to D is to 18 upon 60 is to 9 upon 60 is to 6 upon 60. Okay. So, 60 gone. 27 plus 27 54 yes 60 is done so 3 9 is a 27 3 6 is a 18 3 3 is a 9 and 3 2 is a 6 so the new ratio becomes 9 is to 6 is to 3 is to 2 okay let's look at the third question x and y are partners sharing profits in the ratio 5 is to 3 uh, admitted Z for one tenth share which he acquired now see in the previous questions it was not mentioned how the new partner is acquiring share. So, whenever it is not written how the new partner is acquiring the share we used to assume that the new partner is acquiring in the old partners ratio. Okay, 
but in this question they have told us that he is coming for one tenth and this one tenth he is acquiring equally. So, half of one tenth he is acquiring from x and half of one tenth he is acquiring from y. So, now the question is already solved let us see again what we do we first write down the old ratio x is to y. Okay, the old ratio was 5 is to 3 or 5 by 8 and 3 by 8. Now, z is admitted for how much? So, z is admitted for 110 share in the new firm. So, now we do not have to calculate length of profit v1 because we know how much uh, they are sacrificing. So, sacrifice y x and y equal therefore, x is sacrifice equals to how much 5 uh, total sacrifice is 1 upon 10 ok not like this. Which he acquires equally from x and y therefore, equal share of 1 by 10 equals to 1 by 10 multiplied by equally divided by 2. So, 1 by 20, he requires 1 by 20 from each. So, now new share is old share minus sacrifice. So, for x the new share is old share was 5 upon 8 minus the sacrifice of 1 upon 20. Solve it 100 minus 8 upon 160. So, 92 by 160. Let us see of y Three by eight minus one by twenty. So sixty minus eight by one sixty is fifty two by one sixty. And new share of uh, who is the new partner? Z is the new partner. Yes. Okay. Yes, Z is the new partner whatever he is acquiring, he is acquiring 1 by 20 from x plus 1 by 20 from y. Okay. So, 2 by 20, we will multiply it by 8 to make it equal. So, 16 by 160, 92 plus 16 is 108, 110, 160. Yes, it is done. So, the new ratio of x is to y is to z is 92 is to 52 is to 16. Okay. Uh, everyone we can uh, divide it by 4. So, 4 into 2, 8, 4, 3 is a 12. 4 1s are 4, 4 3s are 12, and 4 4s are 16. 23 is to 13. 23 is to 13 is to 4. So, this is how we are doing our question number 1, 2, and 3. Now, uh, the remaining questions we will be seeing in our next video. Thank you.